Creativity is an addiction. You go to it when you need something, when you want to accomplish something. You go to it when, hey, I, got, I, I have an idea. It, it's going to make me more money. And it comes to you at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and you're going, no, I want to sleep. See, it's one-sided. You get what you want. It doesn't get what it wants. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. We are such a spoiled generation. If we want it, we get it. Streaming television and streaming music or any other type of streaming has really spoiled us rotten. If something were to ever happen to the digital processes of this planet, we would all go insane because we are constantly streaming something from YouTube, TikTok, movies on Netflix. I'm streaming old TV shows because there's just a need for it right now because I want to study those that became huge before the rest of the generations caught up streaming we're getting everything they call it the golden age of television right now because all of these actors harrison ford sylvester stallone these big name people are creating these series and we're getting addicted to them I, i've had the opportunity to talk with these actors and they say you know what i like about doing a series you're employed you see there was another actor that once told me that when you walk down the streets of L.A. and you're going, oh, there's that actor. That's probably an unemployed actor. If they're not on the set and they're on the street, there's a big chance that actor is unemployed. You never think about that, that side of their lives. Learning how to accept those that are entertaining us. Learn about them. Understand them. See what their full view of life really is. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, very much aware. I call it a silent wolf. I'm sitting underneath the brush of a tree, and I'm watching the world. Like, right now, this is the God's honest truth. Right now, in my studio, which is 23 feet off the forest floor, there are three deer outside the studio window. Every morning at this time, these deer come walking by, chomping on the grass, just looking up at me. It's almost like they're saying, you did it, dude. You made it through the night. Good morning. Good morning. Look oh, oh, they're, oh, look at that. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. It just it catches my eye because, it's, because they're moving and their white swishy tails are like paintbrushes. And I often wonder, what is it they're painting? This is The Daily Mess. We've really gotten hooked on watching these old, 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 old television shows. Jack Benny. Johnny Carson, and George Burns and Gracie Allen. See, what I don't want to do is turn this into, well, you're, it's because you're 60 years old. You're an old man, and you're only interested in, in the old shows because you grew up in it. No, I didn't. I didn't have Jack Benny. Neither did my wife. And we were at the tail end of that Johnny Carson guy. So, no, no, no. This is not an old people thing. We're just observing what has become a part of the television world. The comical pacing of of Jack Benny, the facial expressions in a black and white world, Johnny Carson's quick one-liners while sporting a beautiful business suit. I find no reason to compare their talents to those on modern day sitcoms and late night shows. To each their own and their own is always to be themselves and not an impersonation. The view of the entertainment landscape is far reaching during these modern times. And spending time with those who help shape it allows the soul to embrace the seeds of inspiration. Here's how I look at it. Knowing the tree before it sacrifices its life to become a sheet of paper. The paper that I write upon each morning, which becomes a conversation on a podcast, which you pick up on your side. The seed of a tree. These beautiful deer out here. They weren't around in 1997. While writing that morning, I heard it in my heart, replenish the forest. I was like, what? Who has that kind of time? Replenish the forest. I've got the pictures. I've got the daily writing. I worked with the North Carolina Forest Service, and we had 1,700 seedlings put into the ground in this forest. See, seeing the seed of the tree before it becomes the paper. 
In 1997, we didn't have the hawks flying around. We didn't have the owls that were building nests in trees in this forest. The beautiful wild creatures that just happily walk along. I don't even run away from the snakes because they're part of the process. Everything is working together. The seed before it becomes the tree, before it reaches the paper, and then words shared on a podcast. That's how it works. The things that you're watching on television, even the movies, if you're going back into the theater, study the craft by going back to the seed. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.